Hey, it's Jody Jody Taylor of SnackySays.com. Welcome or welcome back to my podcast. I actually just washed my hair and um, I had all these like thoughts and ideas. Do you like where do you get ideas? Like when you're washing your hair, when you're working out, when you're walking. Um, it's to the point now where I'm like sometimes when I'm working out, I'll put post-its in a pen nearby because I like I'll think of something and be like I gotta write this down (sighs) I've often lamented that there isn't like a way to um I don't know like maybe I need to come up with a bulletin board or something anyway so let's get into it um I was thinking about like my hair and I've had a love I don't want to say like a love struggle relationship with them. not struggle, but it's been, my hair is really thick. It's always been super duper thick. I, I wonder how my mom used to comb it every day. It's, it's a handful. Um, I'm very late to the numbers and letters for here, but I never really got it. And the last hairdresser I had, who was a natural, um, here dresser I had locks I don't know if you know that but just FYI I used to have locks they were really long for like 10 years and so <laughs> when I was going to I, I when I first heard of this system I was like yo what's this you know 2a 3b and she was like yo I don't know so I still don't really 100% get it but I know enough to know that I'm like a 4z basically I have like um well that's not really true the the front and back of my hair are different The theme of this episode is story time, this and that. So I'm thinking about my hair. So a couple of things about me and my hair. It's super duper thick Afro. And there are three um, products that I have found to really work with my hair. The first is Trader Joe's Nourish Spa Shampoo and Conditioner. In particular, the conditioner. I'm not actually that picky when it comes on to... um, when it comes on to shampoos, um, you know, like, am I going to go to a hotel and use the shampoo that's in the hotel bathroom? No. So I guess I do have some, mm, I don't want to say standards, but, um, I do have some shampoos that I absolutely won't use, but so I can and do use the Trader Joe's Nourish Spa shampoo. I've also used a, um, Gosh, I just put in the recycling bin, but I don't love it, love it, so I won't mention it. Let's move on. Trader Joe's Nourish Spa Shampoo and Conditioner, particularly the conditioner. And when I talk about conditioners, um, I'm going to mention maybe one other. Yes, one other. Um, Basically, when I put it in my hair, it lays down. Like, that's how I know, like, oh, you know, here's the conditioner. Fun fact about my hair. It is so thick that when it rains, it has to be all but a next level thunderstorm for my hair to get wet, like for me to even feel it on my scalp. It's really funny. It's like I have a um, homemade natural umbrella. Thanks, mom and dad. Um, so the other, that brings me to the next brand, Organic Grow. Um, it's quite expensive. Well, I don't know. It depends on what your budget is, but it's the best Um, and they have like a test that you can do to see what's the, like the porosity of your hair and the best product for you. My cousin put me onto them. I love them so much that, um, I ordered them when I was living in Korea and you can imagine that was no, it, you know, it wasn't cheap because they are expensive products. And then I would have them, um, shipped to Korea. Same thing with Trader Joe's. There's no Trader Joe's in Korea, but I was really blessed and fortunate that my family um, would send me care packages with Trader Joe's Nourish Spa um, conditioner and I would stock up if I visited the States. The last product is La Roche Posse. Uh, It's a dandruff shampoo that I haven't come across in the States, but I got it in Korea. So the other thing I was thinking about with me and my hair and this like, uh, you know, like I'm happiest when I can pay someone to do my hair and they do a really good job because my hair is, um, it's thick. Like the last time I got it professionally done, which was in, I want to say the before times, but COVID was probably already like 
like running through New York like wildfire and we just didn't know it yet. But I got it done in New York and she didn't really comb it out. You know, like my hair takes a long time to I actually should hurry up because it's wet. <laughs> it's wet right now. I really need to get to a bullet. So my hair takes a long time to comb out and like there's like a whole process and um, from the second I walked in the door to the second I left, I think was less than two hours. And I was like, yo, I don't think, I don't think this is really um, comb, combed out. And sure enough, it, it, it wasn't like, I don't know. It's hard to, no, well, no, it's not hard to explain. You can, but I know, cause I know my hair and that's happened a couple of times when someone else has done my hair and I'm like, no, this is going by too fast. Um, it's not like really combed out from the root to the, to the tip. It looked cute ish. Um, I haven't been back to the hairdresser, uh, since then. And I'm really missing going to a, a great hairdresser that's like on my to-do list because of the pandemic um I wasn't even like entertaining going to a hairdresser but you know nowadays that's back on the table the other thing is if you you know what I mean if you've ever had to look for a hairdresser even a barber I've done the big chop a couple of times right two or three times in my life just cut it all off come here all off and it's as hard as finding a freaking hairdresser. It is so hard to find the right barber, you know, to like give you that nice lineup and like shape and it looks really good and, and it fits you. Um, but I tell you what, the first time I did it, I was really happy because <laughs> I wasn't, you know, I remember when I was like in fifth grade, um, a boy told me I had a football head and I was like, wow. And I remember that like years later, like what if it, I just look like I'm walking around with a football head. Um, so anyway, those are the three products that if you have, whether or not you have thick hair, I think, um, they're great products. The last product that I mentioned, um, is a shampoo, which is kind of funny to me because I usually, go um bananas for a really great conditioner and again i'll try to find it but i'm actually pretty sure it's not sold here um th that's like a tricky thing that i found with korea there are things brands that we have here in the states um that for some reason you can't like we have the brand but you can't get a certain product in the states but you can find it all over korea <laughs> it's really strange okay so the other thing i want to say about my hair now you've heard me say like oh it's so thick and how did my mom call me da -da 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 -da. well one day i noticed that my hair this has actually happened to me twice for two different reasons i'll skip the first story for another time but the second time my hair started falling out it was falling out like by the handful and I was like what the hell is going on this is so strange I don't I don't get it like why is my hair falling out and I was happier than a pig in shit so I could not figure it out and I went to the doctor loved 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 my dermatologist I miss him um and he was like oh this is from stress and I was like but I'm not stressed everything is going great and I thought back to a podcast podcast episode that I had randomly listened to one day after grocery shopping. I, I remember I was waiting. I remember exactly where I was. I was waiting for the bus. I hate taking the bus, but that's another story. I was waiting for the bus and I was listening to this podcast episode. I'll see if I can find it. I am blanking. Mimi Icon. That's her name. She was on someone else's um, podcast and she talked about being really happy and things going really well and basically having not a meltdown and it's been a year since I listened to it but she was really stressed out she was like I don't get it why am I stressed out and then she realized um I forget how she came to this realization if she went to therapy or she had just processed it but she realized that a lot of things had happened she was finally in a safe space to process things that had happened in her life and she you know she lost it and in my case um Oh, and the example she gave, which I thought was a really good example, is that when kids have a tantrum, they're having a tantrum because they're in a safe space. You know, you're not going to like throw yourself on the floor if you think you're going to like there are severe consequences, for example. So um, 
I thought, oh, that's interesting. And I forgot about the episode until the moment when the doctor told me like, oh, your hair's falling out because of stress. And I realized that in my life in that moment, all of the boxes were checked. I had everything that I ever wanted, but no, not but, like period. I really like check, check, check. Everything was like flowing. Everything was great. But there were a lot of things that led up to the to that moment where everything was like checked off. And I just didn't have, I never made the time. I didn't have the space to really feel my feels. And anyway, so my hair started falling off. So it's falling out. So what's the point? I really was truly grateful um, for my hair. And so I just had a moment when I was washing my hair, like, oh my God, here we go again with this. And then I remembered like, yo... At least it's not falling out. You know, you, you still have your hair because it was terrifying. It was terrifying. You know, I, I, I didn't know if it was going to come back. Like in the front, it was it was it was going. It was gone. You know, I haven't had a perm. Black girl perm, black woman perm is like straight. If you are not, you might be thinking like your hair was like curly. No, um, I haven't had a perm in years and years and years and years and years and years. But when I did, one of the things I was afraid of was like the, the front falling out. Yeah, you know what? That can happen no matter your hairstyle. So I guess that's a bad example. Do not take hair advice from me. I am terrible with um, <laughs> talking about hair, obviously. Okay, so I'm talking about this because it was on my mind. But also, if you're listening, and you feel like everything in your life is going well, but you're having a physical reaction that you can't understand or something physical is going on with you, like in my case, it was my hair. It might be because you are finally in a place where you have um, the time and space and you have good people around you who are supportive, where you can have that meltdown or you can have that stress um, and really process it, you know? So I... I'm going to end here because I fear that I'm going to have to wet my hair again and start this whole process over. Oh, you know what I want to talk about real quick? Another product that I use that my sister sent me. I didn't believe it would work, but man, Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch, K-N-O-T, Instant Detangling Therapy. This thing is the truth. If you if your hair gets tangled, my cousin calls them fairy knots, like, like my hair gets tangled, um... Man, I wish they made, I'm going to actually look. This is only 16 fluid ounces, but I would do well with a gallon of this stuff. Like for real, for real. I've tried a ton of products over the years. um, And I'm not mentioning one or two simply because unfortunately they're discontinued. So I can't recommend them because you can't get them. The La Roche Posey I'm mentioning because I know that I have um, folks who listen that don't live in the States. And so it might be available um, where you live. Okay. I really better do my hair. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Um, I just felt like, let me come on and record real quick and talk about my hair and a little bit about my hair journey. Um, I'm actually taking like videos of like before, during, no, that's not true. I didn't didn't take a picture or video of me washing my hair, but I, when I was on Instagram, I would do that. Um, Like I would have like four pictures and I kind of miss that, but I don't really want to go on Instagram to post my hair day, but I'll, um, maybe I'll put it on YouTube because I've been doing YouTube shorts. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and like, and check out my YouTube shorts. Maybe you'll see, um, actually I do have a video, a short of like my big hair day, but maybe I'll put a video up of my wash day today. Okay. Please, please, please share your hair stories with me. Um, or any like epiphany moments that you had. Oh, and I guess I should, if you're wondering what I did, just knowing what was happening really helped. Like it really, really helped me get better. And my doctor also, uh, my dermatologist also recommended, like gave me some, I went to the pharmacy and picked up some um, products that helped. It's not products. I guess they were prescriptions. Sorry. It was actually not recently, so I don't remember exactly. But the most important thing that I learned was, oh, there is a there's a reason behind this. There's a name, and I have some processing um, to do. And then upon reflection, I also realized recently, <laughs> actually not at the time, like, hmm, that's not the first time that I, that happened. Not that my hair fell out, but I had some melees or. Like, you know, when everything is going right and then your mood and your vibe is the opposite 
Um, that hasn't happened often in my life. It's only happened, I think, three times. And the last time I just shared, um, my hair fell out. Uh, but, you know, it's like that book that I've never read that everyone keeps talking about, The Body Keeps the Score. So we're one way in our life. And, um, you know, we're going through the motions and we're doing our best. And sometimes life is really great, but your body is still sending out, um, hey, you got some things to like work out signals. Okay. Really, really ending. I think I'm, I may have to like (laughs) wash my hair again. I really do. I didn't expect to talk this long, but I'm glad that I did. Okay. Um, again, if you have, if you have hair stories you want to share, or if something similar has happened to you, please let me know. Um, I will put my contact information. It's, you know, I always have my contact information in the show notes so you can reach out and let me know. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please join my newsletter. Um, I always, I feel like I do the most chatting in my newsletters and, um, it's monthly. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for listening. This is Jody, Jody Taylor of snackysays.com.